Hi, hello traders it's Samurai Trader here I've just gone long here on a 3b I'm bouncing on three different time frames here a 3b long I am targeting the high so what it means is I've already gone to break even I uh, will it actually automatically my ATM sent me to break even I then move my stop back down because I'm very confident we will go up there and retest the high so up here the white line I've got up there that is the prior days close and the black line is the current days open and this is the uh, the line color up here this is the high of the day since midnight so I'll stay with this uh, trade now I'm you may notice here I'm a few ticks just below this swing high just here whoops and target filled there we go so that was 579 on five lots so that was what we call a 3b now we had a 2b over here uh, but I've just um, fired this trade off here uh, and for members watching we also just had it so that also turned into a t10 just there so I'll pause the video as I wait for another setup so whilst I'm waiting for another setup so this uh, video is all about how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge so here I'm trading five lots on the NQ so how you see me trade here you can apply to any market whether it be Forex whether it be futures whether it be stocks the um, the structure or the patterns that I'm seeking are exactly the same so all of the strategies that I trade are pattern based now I do need to also pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and as you're watching a recording here please feel free to read the disclaimer now what is also important here is let's see here so you can probably gather I just grabbed this one uh, I won't even worry about going into that one but uh, that slide but what is important we want to know where the, where our pivot levels are I want to know where my uh, open high low and close levels are my major EMAs intraday's high and low and the high and low of the trading session so just there I was referring to the um, uh, the current days open high low and close what I tend to find is really important is the prior days close as a level and I see we're just bouncing off that on another screen right now and the intraday sorry no the current day intraday swings are very important but also the current days high or low so if we just go back and look at this so we can see we've gone up there and we've temporarily had a bounce right there at the yesterday's at the prior days close now just above is the session high okay so at any time there we could go back up there um, and test that in fact for members watching this this is virtually a pivot magnet trade just there so now I'll pause the video so we're up uh, 579 with that nice move but uh, I'm after 1000 net so let's just see uh, I need to get a retracement here now I could have a potential uh, divergence trade but um, uh, for the sake of today's trading I said to the members in the live uh, coaching room this morning <laughs> I'll record a video without any divergence trades I love trading divergence uh, you had a really nice move there you had a nice one just there however I also and just here we've got one and it's a T uh, for members watching no it's not quite a T10 but you do have some divergence here um, is that it's very very easy to get fixated or to be um, really looking for picking tops and bottoms on a regular basis and for newer traders it's not a great idea trend trading is generally the safest form of trading as an example we can see up here we do have the high of day just there now notice how we've missed the high of day right now yet at the same time I've got a divergence trade now what can happen is we can get a brief retracement like we're getting now but the market loves to go back up 
and test the high so what we quite often find is you'll get a shallow pullback then it goes back up and tests the high and stops out all of the uh, divergence traders now what I will then generally do is just check out what's happening on the anchor chart one so here we can see traders that I've got plain vanilla divergence also on the anchor chart one and I've got it on the entry chart now this may lead to a deeper pullback particularly back down of the 89 EMA so as I said generally I would be well maybe I didn't say that but generally I would be looking at taking the straight so we'll just see what happens if we get a pullback but once again for members I'll just take with trend trades for this particular recording and trading session but remember the high we'll see if we bounce back up and test that high I'll pause the recording for now so traders we can actually see here that we have pulled back and we're bouncing here now um, with any trade whenever we take a trade we say to ourselves do we have blue skies ahead and what I mean by that are there any major EMAs do we have any pivots do we have any open high low and close levels what do we have in front of a trade that may act as major support resistance levels so what we can see here the market just tried to push again through yesterday's um, uh, close the prior day's close and the open but it was reject rejected and we've pulled back now this is actually what we call a 2d we've got two divergences we've got divergence on our entry chart and we've got divergence over here on our anchor chart one and you may remember a couple of minutes ago I said our expected bounce point or um, pullback point will be back to the 89 EMA now where we can have an even deeper retracement is if we have divergence on a third time frame you see I trade with an entry chart an anchor chart one and I've got an anchor chart two the time frames that I use will vary subject to the volatility of the market or the time of day for an example here right now I'm on a four tick Renko now this is fine during the Globex session near impossible to trade during the New York session so we need to pick the time frame that we're trading and by the way normally I don't have that on here this is the hull moving average uh, on here so I don't always have it on there so I know it makes the charts look very busy so um, uh, we don't actually have to have it on there I use it for a couple of things to confirm at times but you can tidy your charts up by removing that if you wish now just here we could get uh, another bounce here we'll see in a moment uh, and retest this level just here is this going to roll over if a member is watching this this may turn into a t10 you actually had a t10 notice here this is a long-term stochastic traders so you have a long-term stochastic on your entry chart is now trending down what you generally find is if you break the 89 you'll come down to this level just here or even the pivot but once again I'll be very surprised if we don't go up there and have a retest of the high of day so once again I'll pause the video traders I've just put a buy stop in the market to uh, buy up here at uh, 1325 now this is a higher risk strategy why we are 157 a.m. Central Standard Time so we're about to see the uh, have uh, the Frankfurt open so we'll see what happens here if I get stopped into this trade and punch through the resistance we've got up above here now of course this can always backfire against you when you trade the open the open um, in some markets I call the killing field because it's very easy to get slammed or whipsawed at the open of the market okay so now we're filled now here you may notice here my uh, stop is just there I want to um, just right up below I want to move it down one tick below the swing 
and let's just see here so as I said this is a higher risk strategy we are trading at the Frankfurt open so let's see if we can get a push through so I've had a good start to the trading session so we'll just uh, wait for a moment so we are long five contracts five cars and ultimately you can see up here that my target is way up here above the high of day now as I go up there and assume here I can punch through these levels I want to make sure that I at least get to break even because I may not get actually filled fully now remember we're looking at targeting this level and uh, are targeting the high of day I'm hoping we can push through okay I'm hoping we can push through now we just uh, now there'd be no crime in going to break even right now by the way so we just uh, looks like we're going to get a bit of a bounce here at that resistance we have above but with some buying pressure hopefully from the European market our European colleagues will want to push this to the long side maybe not too but we'll see in a moment okay come on give us a push we've got to clear these levels if we can get through now there we go now that's better all right target filled there we go traders so uh, that was uh, nice and fast right there at the uh, uh, 2 a.m. Central Standard Time now that was quite a push so I was really quite happy to get that so after comms we're now up uh, 943 so now I'm going to wait for another setup so I'm after 1000 so we're up 940, uh, 943 after commissions what I will do now is just let the market settle down just slow down a wee bit so both of these were trend following trades so unfortunately for uh, members watching this we just had a slingshot just here but I was a um, just slow off the mark here and so we came down we just had a nice slingshot and that would have topped my um, trading session off very nicely but I just uh, missed this one here so not to worry so that was a, a nice slingshot trade T2 34B here is another but I'm now going to wait for a decent retracement rather than keep taking these uh, uh, trades into the high day now we could keep pushing up for the next couple of hours or the rest of the trading day but I like to have uh, a deeper retracement for a trade setup that I call a 2B that was a 3B this is a 2B they just tend to be um, very reliable trades a good 80 to 90 percent trade and you generally get some really nice moves with those trades so we'll wait for a deeper retracement now what we do want to be careful of is when we have these deep retracements is major divergence that is when we start to see divergence setting up on multiple time frames after a retracement like here we'd be expecting to pull back to the 89 again the first trades we get they I call them two BDs means they're after divergence so D means they're after divergence they're less reliable okay so see how my MACD is dropping away here see how my MACD is dropping away now by the way my MACD is what we call a zero lag okay so it's very very sensitive so as I mentioned pull back to the 89 uh, yes we would have been on that but as I said from the outset I'm not trading divergence um, just because I want to show members <laughs> the trend trades if you go and watch most of my videos half the trades I take are divergence trades generally so just here this could set up as a 2BD long uh, as I said look it could work out it, like just here it's um, it's uh, about to set it's now set up so this is a long trade just here but I think I'll just sit this one out okay so two BDs are generally lower probability 
trade so I'll just pause this video so we don't make it too long and I'll come back to it uh, and by the way no we've got momentum there it's pushed up above quite strongly and just with that I will say my EMAs are trending quite strongly but I'm just being conservative because I just want one more trade to hit my target so we'll just wait for this uh, pullback again so if members watching that was a 2BD but just notice so if we expand the anchor chart one here um, and look at that there okay I should have done that to begin with is you can just see the strength or the angle of the EMAs that we have got just there so I will pause so um, just to point this out so you can see there we made a new higher high uh, and see we've got major divergence here that the divergence keeps setting up traders so uh, this is another 2BD and it may very well we've got a very very strong uptrend here I'm just going to uh, sit on hands now um, you don't have to take every trade to be successful what you do have to do is follow the trading rules on trades when you do take the trade so I'll just pause this so I've just uh, let me just start. look I'm going to cancel that or unfortunately I just missed um, uh, this uh, trade just here um, this is uh, what we call a kaching trade or a money on the floor trade and darn it I just missed that one never mind I've only got to pick up a, another hundred or dollars to hit my target but um, this is fairly typical so see how we rallied up now that could have easily happened there which it didn't but this is what I'm always wary of uh, you you get the bounce you can see we bounced on a couple of time frames then we reversed uh, so I most of my setups I give a code to and I call that actually a t10 that's what I call that a t10 setup you can just see here we've got a lot of movement here a lot of rapid movement just here so we'll just um, I'm just gonna follow this look I'm shorting this now I, I just want to pick up and just notice this here I will get to break even very quickly here now the the line you can see down there the um, purple line that is the 200 EMA now I'm moving my stop now down to the 200 I'll lock in a bit few more ticks so I locked a few more ticks in lock a few more in okay and why did I, we usually will get a bounce now we might come down a wee bit further uh, down to the 89 EMA so uh, just watch that so we might come down but here now I'm now up 11.07.30 after commissions or uh, so on my matrix I'm up uh, 11.70 but after commissions I'm only up 1107 okay so that was a su successful three out of three um, uh, trading with the trend now this is a trend reversal now it's not divergence trading I want you to notice here that I'd made a lower low here and made a lower high so what you tend to find is when we break from the 89 we'll usually come down to the uh, 200 now if you're um, not a member watching this uh, in the description link below the video you can actually come and join the day traders fast track program or join me in my coaching sessions um, you can join for $197 and uh, that includes all of my indicators um, there's hundreds of hours of videos now there's powerpoints there's the works all right so come and join me and I'll teach you how to day trade so uh, for members watching this uh, I'll see many of you <laughs> in the coaching room and in the live trading room thanks traders cheers